Hey guys, Vigo Man here and welcome back to another showcase video. Today I am all by myself because this map right here is not on the server for you to explore, but I will leave a link to the download if you want to. It is built by the one of the most impressive Conquest Reforged builders out there, Talset333. Check him out, link and everything will be down there. And what we're looking at right now is Karstain Castle. And man, it's beautiful. I love it. I think it's... Yeah, the whole atmosphere of this area with the mountains and the, the vegetation and then the castle in the middle. It's just spot on. It's super realistic and exactly the kind of castles I love checking out. So it's been a while since we've been here doing a showcase video, especially in Conquest Report. So I hope you guys are doing great. Hope you guys are inspired. And I hope that today's video is going to give you a lot of inspiration. This is truly beautiful. We're kind of seeing it um, with the sun facing us. So it's a little bit in the shadow right now. We're going to check it out uh, from, from different angles as we go. But I want to go over here because I think this leads to a small village outside here. And this is a big map, which I said is built by Talset. So there are stuff everywhere. We have a little bit of a fortification up here, uh, which we're not going to check out today. So if you want to check this out yourself, you will just have to download the map. And you will be able to to warp around teleport around to all the different places and as you can see the roads are just going everywhere here so there are stuff everywhere to explore uh, i've been spending some time here myself because it's just packed with inspiration so definitely download this yourself and check out talset on youtube and on twitter he's an amazing uh, builder this is beautiful i love this just a little bit of a hamlet i guess or a farm. Uh, I wonder if this is all like decorated. No. So uh, Talsa told me I was in contact with him that not everything is completely finished right now. So um, I just guess we gotta look at what we can. Oh, there's a horse in here. Hello, horsey. Um, but these stables are beautiful, and there's some hay on the top here. Just amazing. So much atmosphere. So not everything is completely done, and we just gotta live with that. Uh, I guess yeah we're stuck here so let's do a little bit of a cheating here and flying around we can see the castle from up above now and it's absolutely stunning in the back you can see more stuff there is a little bit of a town or a village more maybe all like a city I guess um, and everything is just perfectly built into the landscape and the map and attached with the roads and stuff and I think it's just beautiful so yeah let us start here and then walk towards the castle i haven't been looking at this too much myself so uh, for myself it's going to be a lot of inspiration as well which is always good this is stunning uh, i think this might be the right way to go i do see a little bit of a drawbridge over here so that is a good uh, indicator that we're heading towards the main entrance and yeah from this point the defenses is just beautiful we have massive big walls that look strong and then crenellations on the top we do have this drawbridge i love the use of the chains here for that and then the holes in the wall perfect i, I really want to see how uh, he has like done the inside of this if there's mechanics behind it um and if all of that works and then i guess yeah we have a small portcullis here there's no murder holes up here which I find a little bit weird because this would be a perfect place to have murder holes and, and then also matriculations here maybe he has though I don't know he has arrow slits but I, I guess you would have matriculation so you could drop stuff down and shoot stuff like arrow straight down and also murder holes but uh, you don't need to have that I just find that it makes the gatehouse even more defendable alright so we have a nice little courtyard in here with some small buildings inside which uh, is perfectly realistic and just adds some character look oh the view from here wow uh, I'm just yeah blown away with this place here so uh, as I said I haven't checked it as much out myself I just kind of flew to this place uh, and kind of got a quick overlook on how this works all right so it looks like he do have a lot of the mechanical parts here to how all of this would work so this is the portcullis racing system um, I love this very nice uh, how is this like attached I don't know uh, but you can really see that he put some effort into thinking how all the wires should go and stuff 
Um, and then we can get on top of the wall here. Oh man, he's actually used dirt up here. That's something I've never thought about, but that is perfectly fine and it actually looks good. So I uh, might have to do that myself. And you get a nice angle. I guess this, yeah, this follows like the road here. So uh, anyone who's trying to come up here, here with the road would be having a bad time with people just all the way following the path here, bombarding them with arrows and stuff like that. And also some wooden stairs scaffolding around the building here into this, which I guess is the rookery. Yes, uh, we have a writing area here and then some more area. Perfect. I love this. Very good job, Talset. Awesome. Uh, and then also the cages down here with birds and stuff. Very cool. Uh, I will try to stay on track and get back here and don't kind of just run around um, with no purpose. So I guess. Uh, we can go down here again, yeah, or where does this go? Yeah, just back to the battlements here And here we can see we just have like a wooden a scaffolding or platform around not like a full-on uh, Wall that we had over there, but it, it still works and gives you a nice defensive position right here So that is good and uh, some variation is always key. Let's close the doors um, So here can we see how um, the drawbridge is raised up maybe not or maybe okay yeah so we have this one there and, and does this one like go through maybe there's no way to get to that or maybe you can go through here no, I don't know uh, anyway guys it's beautiful uh, what is what are these blocks oh I've never thought about that that is genius and just like someone working here, like a carpenter doing something. Great stuff. Alright, so I'm going to check out this tower here. And then we're going to kind of work our way through this castle here. I'm just blown away by all of this. Um, what is this? It's just like a torture kit chamber, perhaps. And then when you're done with them, you just drop them down. This is brutal, man. I guess it is. Because we have a cage here. And then these looks like thing you could tighten up to tighten up your arm. Oh man, let's go out of here. I'm getting in a bad mood. <laughs> um, and then... Kennels, I guess. Yeah. And of course a well. Well is very important in a castle like this. Can I not get in here? Maybe not. What can I... Is there something blocking me? I don't know. Maybe there are like barrier blocks. Yeah, it is. Alright. Um... I guess you don't want us to go in there then. Um, where to go next? I think we didn't really see the tower here, no. So let's just fly up here. Uh, and then we see the rest of the tower, yes. Um, very nice. And then we're up at the rookery, I guess. Yeah. Alright, so we kind of got all of the tower now. Let's quickly jump down. So I guess that is actually the way to get up here. Uh, walk along the battlements. And from here you can, I guess, get into this building. Yeah. Very nice, very nice. I love when castles uh, are connected up in a way that you can... You, like there's several ways to get to everywhere. You can kind of walk around it and don't really have to follow a strict path. Um, and this is cool. I guess this is the feast hall. Yeah. we down here and then you would have like... Maybe guards standing up here, or just like um, the band, if you want that. I uh, love the use of the pillars and beams here. That is great for like keeping people on here. Um, and it just adds some structure to all of this. And then we have arrow slits all the way around here, if you need to defend it. And I. Oh, yeah, this goes to the stair. Alright. Awesome. This goes up here. That is nice. I like that. Uh, and this leads to. Just the back here, where we have, um, yeah, some food and ale and stuff. And I guess there's no real... Oh, yeah, you can actually go down here. Yeah, let's do that then, I guess. And uh, this leads out to... Oh, no, this is where we came from. All right. Did we... All right. Yeah, I'm getting lost already. And there's more stairs going down there. All right. Um, what is here, then? I guess this will be the stair. Yeah, the outside staircase. So that is cool, he has stairs both on the inside and the outside, which again, 
just gives you more to look at and more ways to move around. And this looks like some kind of weavery where they create uh, string and textiles and stuff. Um, very nice. Um, this is like a spinning jenny, I guess. Maybe, it, maybe I'm getting that wrong, but it looks like one. Maybe the spinning jenny is too modern for this, but it kind of has the same thing, <laughs> same uh, functions. And then we have the kitchen here, which is good. Nice views here. Uh, and then this leads to some storage and stuff like that. And then also, yeah, a wardrobe here, I guess. This goes up to some more storage. And then back to the feast hall again. All right. So as you can see, there's a lot of ways to move around in here. And again, that is something I really appreciate. It makes the whole experience with walking around in the castle so much more interesting. And I don't know where I'm walking right now. It seems like we're going up a tower of some sort. So maybe this is like the dungeon where uh, the Lord's residence is. There's some beds here at least. Um... A lot of battlement like hoardings going around here which is always great uh, and what is like up here there's a lot of beds maybe it's armor or like the barracks I don't know it doesn't seem too noble enough to be the dungeon I think that might be the dungeon what we're looking at right there even though it's not the tallest part but maybe like the Lord's residence but let's go down here again I think we've seen everything if you don't believe me if you think there's more to look at here, download the map yourself and just tour around. Because um, there is definitely stuff that we might be missing here. This leads out to some more here. Um, very cool, but I want to go down. Alright, so you can't actually get up to here from down here. So you have to go through, which is a nice defensive uh, way. Because uh, if this is a dungeon where the Lord lives, you want to protect him as good as possible. Alright, uh, we're down here again. What do we have here? We have some storage, uh, more storage. I guess brewery maybe? A bakery? I don't know. And then armor, maybe there's like... Yeah, like the big great hall almost. Maybe like the war room is here. And then... This goes up here again? I'm lost. Okay, let's go out. Let's go down again. I think we're done with this building. Um, this is just beautiful. I love this. Uh, yeah, what is this white building? This one here is a blacksmith. That's alright. Uh, and then this one might be... Okay, so it's like pig uh, enclosure thing. Alright. We need to have some food, bacon and stuff. And then we have chickens just running around here aimlessly. I like that. Uh, and this... Small chicken coop here is very nice. Um, what is this? Barracks, perhaps? Or just maybe the blacksmith residence. Because that is stable, so I guess this is just an area to, to hang out in, I guess. Because here is the stables, and yeah, you don't really get too much more space to live in there. So that is that. Let's move in here again, uh, or first of all. This is a great hall, alright. So this is a throne room where the Lord would sit. Uh, I love the uh, deer on the, the wall up there, up on display. It's kind of dark in here, but that makes sense. Because uh, the light is turned off because there's nothing happening here. You would uh, uh, save as much wa wax as possible. So that is just great, I appreciate that, even though it's dark. Um, going up here, yes. Getting on top of the gallery here, very cool. Um, and up here, I believe, like, the Lord's Residence should be up here. Um, pretty sure. Oh, there's two staircases here. Where does this one go from? Alright, cool. Okay. From, uh, so there's two staircases here. And then, yeah, like, this would probably be, like, the ladies' room or some of the kids. Um, yeah, that's the one room down here. Okay, we can go up here then. And then we should be, I think we should be seeing more and more exclusive rooms. Yes. Look at this. This must be the Lord's room. This is beautiful. B big fireplace and so much to write. Uh, reading books. Uh, having meetings. Private meetings. 
and some nice views. Can't really complain with this view. Um, yeah, that is beautiful. I'm pretty sure this must be the Lord's residence. I might be wrong. We might have even more beautiful stuff as we move up. This goes to the battlement. All right. Very cool. Uh, is there more stuff moving around here? No, it go just goes down to here. All right. So we can go even further up. And we have family dining area, I guess. And then we have... I guess this is for servants and stuff like that. That would make sense. Yeah. So the servings or server... Serv servants? Yeah, the servants room is here. Uh, but then... Maybe some of the kids' room. This is a little bit higher class. So I guess so. Um, there should be more here though. Yeah, there is an, a small attic here. Which again is dark. And then more just servants. I guess. This is beautiful. Is there even further up here? I don't think it is. I think this is all the way up. But this is truly amazing. All the details. I want to fly around it outside a little bit as well, just to capture all of the details here, because this is truly amazing. And I'm looking forward to check out some more of uh, Talset stuff, possibly in the future together with Grammel or someone else, uh, or just alone. Uh, I do have this map here, so if for some reason we cannot uh, gather up for uh, a video together, me and someone else, I can just do a one. Uh, by myself here so that this works yeah um, okay this is really nice just flying around I love the plaster the way um, it's kind of gradient from cobblestone all the way up to plaster and then wooden hoardings on top and just uh, making the battlements completely out of stone really works and, and I think yeah it's one of the best castles I've seen in Conquest Report, especially when it comes to realism and stuff like that. So, uh, I think that is it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank to Talset for building this and all of that stuff. If you enjoyed, make sure to leave a like and comment and all that stuff. And I will see all of you later. It's been Vigo, man. And I'm out.